Can you believe that a U.S. Air Force's largest heavy-duty bomber aircraft crashed due to a single drop of water? Intentionally or unintentionally, we all make mistakes and must face the consequences of our actions. Today, you will learn about the seemingly minor errors made by humans that resulted in significant damage, so let's continue. On the coast of Aberdeen, a Scottish city, there existed an oil rig named Piper Alpha, situated 200 kilometers deep in the ocean. This oil rig, established in 1976, commenced oil extraction for the first time. Extracting oil from the ocean's depths proceeded smoothly for several years. Afterward, the operating company decided to expand the rig's function to include gas extraction. Thus, a rig initially dedicated to oil extraction now undertook gas extraction as well. Initially, all operations were well controlled and functioning flawlessly. However, an incident occurred that soon captured global headlines. On July 6, 1988, an issue arose with a gas valve. Consequently, the supervisor halted the gas pump and initiated maintenance on the gas valve. A metal plate was affixed to prevent gas leakage. The supervisor explicitly instructed everyone to refrain from starting the gas pump. Unfortunately, when the new shift commenced, these instructions went unread, and the gas pump was activated. Regrettably, the metal plate was no match for the intense gas pressure, resulting in a catastrophic explosion. The explosion ignited a massive fire that rapidly engulfed the entire rig. Tragically, all 167 workers on the rig lost their lives in the immediate aftermath. The relentless fire, fueled by the presence of oil, proved extremely challenging to extinguish. Consequently, this small yet critical error led to a devastating outcome, causing the company to suffer a loss of $2 billion. In the 2017 movie Justice League, cinema audiences noticed an unusual occurrence. Henry Cavill, who portrayed Superman in the film, had a peculiar blurriness on his lips in certain scenes. This blurriness affected Superman's visage and was displeasing to his fans. Observers began to realize that while some parts of the movie featured Superman with a normal face, other parts did not. Subsequently, it was revealed that during the movie's post-production phase after the completion of filming, the editor was dissatisfied with certain scenes involving Henry Cavill as Superman. These scenes needed to be reshot. However, a complication arose, Henry Cavill was occupied with shooting for Mission Impossible 6, and for that role, he had grown a mustache for specific shots. To accommodate the requirements of Justice League, Henry had to shave his facial hair again, but the producers of Mission Impossible 6 were reluctant to approve a complete shave. Consequently, some scenes in Justice League were shot with Henry sporting a mustache. The responsibility fell on the editor to digitally alter Henry's appearance, making him appear clean-shaven. Despite the editor's best efforts, the final result altered Henry's face in a noticeable manner. The presence of the mustache added an additional cost of $25 million to the movie's budget. Furthermore, due to the movie's poor ratings, the financial losses incurred were even more substantial. The B-2 bomber aircraft is America's heavy strategic bomber aircraft. On February 23, 2008, the B-2 bomber took off from Guam Air Base in Micronesia, shortly after gaining altitude, it abruptly crashed. In a matter of seconds, the aircraft went from 5,100 hours of flawless flight to complete wreckage a difficult fact to fathom. Subsequent investigation unveiled a surprising cause, a single rainwater droplet had found its way onto an air pressure sensor. This seemingly insignificant droplet disrupted the transmission of signals from the sensor to the main control board immediately after takeoff. Astonishingly, this tiny droplet managed to destabilize such a massive aircraft, leading to the crash. Fortunately, both pilots managed to escape with their lives, thanks to their parachutes. Had the sensor been meticulously cleaned before takeoff, the devastating loss of $2 billion could have been saved. On January 13, 2012, the Italian ship named Costa Concordia embarked on its journey from the city of Civitavecchia in Italy. 
This ship was scheduled for a one-week cruise in the Mediterranean Sea, following a predetermined route. A total of 3,200 passengers and 1,000 crew members were on board this vessel. After a few hours into the cruise, an unfortunate incident befell this massive cruise ship. To ensure the safety of the passengers, a rescue operation was conducted, but the incident led to the tragic loss of 32 lives. Subsequent investigation unveiled a disconcerting truth, the ship's planned route had been altered by Captain Francisco shortly after departing from the dock. Instead of adhering to the designated course, the cruise was redirected towards the Giglio Island, an area with significant underwater rocks. Tragically, the ship collided with a rock similar to those submerged, creating a deep dent on the ship's left side. The creation of this ship had consumed a staggering total of $612 million, However, due to this incident, a colossal loss of $2 billion was incurred. This loss not only encompassed the expenses of constructing the ship but also included compensation for passengers, the process of salvaging the ship, and the eventual scrapping of the vessel. The financial impact was three times more than the initial cost of building the ship. In today's context, estimating Apple Company's 10% share price is relatively straightforward. However, there exists an individual who chose to sell their 10% stake in the Apple company for a mere $800. Alongside Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, Ron Wayne was one of the original founders of Apple. In 1976, Ron Wayne, in collaboration with Jobs and Wozniak, contributed to the establishment of the Apple company. In recognition of his efforts, Wayne was granted a 10% stake in the company at that time. However, due to personal financial obligations, Ron Wayne opted to sell his share for $800. This decision alleviated his financial burden at the time. Unfortunately, today, these same shares are valued at an astounding $120 billion. This realization underscores that had Wayne refrained from selling his shares, he would have secured a position among the top 10 wealthiest individuals on the planet.